We're given that vector v has components one comma negative four comma two, and vector w has components negative three comma five comma k. So notice how the z component of vector w is unknown. We're asked to find k so that the two vectors will be orthogonal or perpendicular. So to solve this problem, we'll be using the dot product of two vectors. But before we set this up, let's look at this graphically. Vector v is graphed in blue. And notice how the yellow vector is orthogonal and perpendicular to the blue vector. So this yellow vector is vector w, and we're trying to find the z component of this vector, which would be the value of k. The dot product of two vectors is given here below, where the dot product is equal to the sum of the product of the corresponding components. So remember that the dot product of two vectors is a numerical value, and the cross product results in another vector that's orthogonal to both vectors. The dot product of two vectors tells us something about the angle between the two vectors. If the dot product is positive, the angle between the two vectors is acute. If the dot product is zero, the vectors are perpendicular or orthogonal. And if the dot product is negative, the angle between the two vectors is obtuse. So because we want our vectors to be orthogonal or perpendicular, we know the dot product must be equal to zero. So to find the value of k, we'll set up the dot product set it equal to zero and solve for k. So again, if the two vectors are orthogonal, then vector v dotted with vector w must equal zero. Let's go ahead and set up our dot product. And again, because we want the vectors to be orthogonal and perpendicular, we know this must equal zero. So our dot product is going to be one times negative three plus negative four times five plus two times k must equal zero. Simplifying, we have negative three. This will be plus negative 20 or minus 20 plus two k equals zero negative 23 plus 2k equals zero. Adding 23 to both sides, we have 2k equals 23. Dividing both sides by two, we have k equals 23 halves. So when the z component of vector w is equal to 23 halves, the dot product would be equal to zero, which means the two vectors would be orthogonal or perpendicular which if you were to graph the two vectors, would look like this. Again, the blue vector is vector v, and the yellow vector is vector w. We can see how these two vectors are orthogonal or perpendicular. I hope you found this helpful.